I'm back at where we last camped. That's where I had my tent. Doesn't look like anyone's been here, but I know people do. It's a open woodland to everyone, really, so. And that's where we had the uh, fire. As you see, there's nothing there. Nice little patch here. I'm just getting some wood ready to make a small fire and after you cut some wood, this is a falling branch here uh, don't leave it like that because it looks obvious and this bright wood stands out like a sword thumb so you, what you want really is some damp well, it's quite dry but you want some damp dirt and just rub it over it over the cut do some wet stuff in this really but straight away just with that you can see it's gone darker so it looks older so it sort of covers your track in a way obviously you want to brush this dust off but it covers your track and um, it don't stand out like a sore thumb I've collected some sticks as you see the thicker sticks a bundle of very fine twigs and I found a patch of land where there's no peat I kicked all leaves and everything off to get down to his solid dirt and then put sticks across. Got my hammock chair up and I'll go put a, a pot hanner in with a sort of tripod thing. These two on each end of the fire and this strong bit of wood from a fallen tree across and hang my pot from it. Got a bit of birch bark here that I collected earlier.
I'm just gonna let that die down a bit now. And uh, when it's died down to like burning embers, I'll put my cooking pot on it. Good thing with this setup is you could uh, adjust the pot hanger to obviously lift it up. If it gets too hot, you want to keep it warm, just lift it up. At the moment, the water's cold, so I've got it down low. And if you want to check the water, because I just get a stick, lift it off, start the ball, and I'll just lower it down a little bit more. As the uh, fire, the wood's burnt down to its coals. Another couple of minutes, and that'll be done, I think. Just keep all the uh, Burning ambers under control. All this around here is solid mud. So I'll be alright. Clear it up, sort it out afterwards. I can hear that water start to boil now. We're just lowering it down at a centimetre or so. Yeah, it's pretty much done. One coffee, rubbish in pocket. I could either unclip this from here or just take it off the stick. The handle's not hot, so I'll unclip it from there. Oh, 
half for coffee, half just for needles. <coughs> Chicken flavour. We've got something else now, some sort of vegetable. Just let it simmer for a bit, put it back on the coals just to heat it up just for a minute. Cheers. Pretty much done now. So if I get that back up, just to keep it warm above the burning embers. So, not much of it left now. Push it in, it raises the uh, burning embers and it helps to burn any uh, wood bits away. So the ground's fine. Interesting. Lovely jubbly. To make this pot hanger um, tripod type stand thing, all you need is a long, strong stick, ideally green wood, uh, birch or something's quite a good wood to use, nice and straight, not too thick, and same with the uprights. This is from a fallen tree, but it's still strong enough. You want this Y shape or V shape at the top and sharpen the point to hammer it in then you want to measure out your gap as you've seen and you want to leave enough gap so the heat from the fire don't burn your wood but if it's green wood it would take a lot longer to burn don't go cutting from many living trees ideally um, this is just how I've done it it was from a fallen tree and the uprights are growing back up um, and that's it really. The actual pot hanger, um, I've done a previous video on this. I'll put a link at the end if you want to go um, see the video and see where I got this from. A guy sent it to me to try it out. Quite simple, just got that clip on the end, a bit of wire, and then the weight of the pot pulls this out over the stick which pinches this adjustment thing. So move it up, pot goes down, move it down, pot goes up. Very lightweight, simple. All packed up, that's where I had the fire. I chucked water on it to put the rest of the ashes out. Scattered the leaves about so it looks like no one's been here. All litter of me. I'm going off for a walk for a little bit longer around the woods. I might take some pictures if I see anything. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.